Okay, yeah. Again, this is something that you will have to write down in your notebook only, right? You don't have to look at any documents or whatever. Um, I will be sharing. It's not a past paper. It's actually a, a demo paper that you basically um, Cambridge people give to us, right? Mm -hmm. And they they're just like it's like your benchmark of how well you should know your text, how well you should know your question answers writing style, et cetera. So this is something that I want you to do right now. And I want you to take it as a small, small tester. Okay. I will be marking you on it. It's not like I will just be discussing it. I will be marking it and then discussing it. Try to stay within the time limit as well. You get right around about 40 minutes to complete it. Okay. It's not, a, it's not compulsory to stay within the timeline, but try to, okay. Like maybe just try uh, to get it done by that time if it's not that's totally fine just take the r that's fine too we will be discussing it either ways but for now this is like a tester that you're giving me so that we have a benchmark of all the things that we need to focus upon because the last time we were doing the paper there's a few things that are handicapped here and there it's very mixed up so this time i just want to get a very straightforward image and that's why i'm using our demo paper instead of a past paper sure. make sense yeah Amazing. So I am sharing the text with you. Uh, I will also be sharing. I'm going to share the text and the uh, uh, questions with you. So this is the text. It's the second one. Let me just share my screen and show you which one it is. So from this, um, it's this one, right? So the passage two over here, the passage about her, how a young mother reacts to her baby's illness. So it's not even a very normal text. Usually you just get a narrative. So this is like a story like text. And uh, in the second link that I'm just sending you right now involves the questions of that, right? So you've got round about um, same amount of questions and then you've got your word meaning questions. And then in the end, you've got your meaning and effect questions, which I think we need to practice because it wasn't there in the last paper. So yeah, you can get started. I am right here if you have any questions at any point, uh, but yeah, just let's keep it as a tester. Make sense? Yes, makes sense. Amazing. Go ahead, just write it down though. Just scan and send it to me uh, whenever you're done. Or just okay. even in the, in the middle, if you feel like you want to send me two to three questions that I can check right now and then keep sending me three, 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 then that's fine too. Okay, sure. Amazing. Good luck. Bye-bye. Thanks.
Okay, I'm finished with the paper. Can I send it into the group? Uh, you com you've completed all of the questions? Yes, I missed a couple, but yeah, I completed the paper. Sure, you, you may send it. So I'm just checking this right now and then I'll discuss it with you. Sure. Give me five minutes. Sure. Okay, I've checked it and I've sent you the document. Um, we're going to review it together. Um, okay. Please just open the one that I've checked and then I'll be explaining um, whatever, wherever, whatever is missing. So you've you've not answered 4A, which is the writer hated going to the doctor. Give one word used in the paragraph which reinforces the idea. So if you go back to the paragraph, 
um i did not know what to do but as i hated going to i had expected a finish etc 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 now this is the word i subsequently discovered there was a unending succession of health checks and vaccinations yet to be endured endured as in to go through right so yeah. she knows that to go through something difficult right so that is basically what she showed that it wasn't a pro- she did not take it as a normal process she took it as something she would have to endure which means something she would have to bear which shows that she hated going to the doctor Okay. so that's what that's going to be the word if you read everything else there is no other word that goes by so that's your slightest or heaviest cue that it's going to be just this word because it's the only word that will match just a little bit as well okay okay then you've missed out on six if i look at the question for that um it says how does lydia change the writer's outlook so when when she calls lydia because lydia has a friend and it's etc et so lydia immediately says that you would dare to right you would you need to go and you need to get her temperature checked and you need to check her temperature so the, the lydia basically more, you know just takes control right lydia is dominant and lydia says it with confidence that you have to do it so it, it and tells the writer that you know yes you need to take her temperature and makes them gives them the confidence to uh, eventually go to the doctor right yes so you will say that how does lydia change the writer's outlook so you can say lydia took control or changed it for the better or made the writer feel more confident okay um then you have then over here i have eight is correct however the word speech is not something that you would write here right so you can say that the secretary secretary would get mad or you know you've already said get, get irritated or whatever but you can say that the secretary would tell her off or tell her you know what to do etc so that's okay. the speech from them would be something very wrong but maybe you can write how the secretary would tell her off etc okay then over here you for 10 um where the question is the writer says i could see that he had not finished and he did not mean what he said what does this tell about the writer's reaction to the doctor so you've said that you know she feels like that something is wrong so now they're not telling us what is hap- they're not asking us what is happening so they in very clear words have said tell us what this tells us about the writer so you have to tell about the writer's personality you don't have to give factual information here right you don't have to say ki okay you know this tells us that you know the writer doesn't like doctors or writer thinks the doctor is lying to her because that's factual information they're asking us what does it tell us about the writer's reaction to the doctor so just maybe a part of writer's personality so you wouldn't say you can say that you know she doesn't believe the doctor or she does not trust the doctor she is not she's mistrustful okay so okay. you will have to give an aspect of the writer's personality not factual information because that's something they are already asking you in other questions okay one question is Uh, is question five correct or wrong? Okay, yeah, sorry, five. I missed out. That's wrong. So okay. if I go back to five, uh, question is: I immediately uh, thought how nice it would be if only I did. What does this tell you about the writer's character? So you're saying that she is reluctant to go. So even though your answer is fine, yeah, I get what you're saying. But then what they check it by the mark scheme, right? So in mark scheme, they won't tell you that you know she's reluctant to go. She, again, they're going to describe the personality because again, they're saying what does this tell you about the writer's character? So you don't have you have to give a personality that she's shy, she's timid, she doesn't push herself forward, she's not confident. So okay. like a personality trait, you will have to give because they are saying very very clear words. Writer's character, right? Correct. Yeah. Yeah. So again, the these the two are t- t- correlating five and ten. You have to write something about the writer's personality rather than giving factual information. Okay. Uh, then we got twelve. So it says, explain in your own words why the writer says the whole of my former life had been lovely. Uh, had been a lovely summer afternoon. Um. you said she knew that everything was wrong and that the doctor sorry you said that she said that uh, to sell tell us that this was a stressful situation no she said this because she knew that now it's going to be difficult that that her life would be more difficult now so okay. that's why she said this thing right so when you because even if you read the thing she said the whole of my former life had been a lovely summer afternoon which means that watch the past that i have already lived was amazing now the difficulty will start so it's not about the stressful situation it's about how the difficulty is going to start now 
and that she mm-hmm. had enjoyed up to this point but now she is going to now she is going to miss the pleasant life because now it's going to be all messed up basically okay right so you've got the other things wrong okay you've missed out on meaning and effect okay so let's just review meaning and effect the first one is that it's saying that sat there calmly aware of how innocent she was this is line 29 so if i go into the passage which you can see on my screen and i read or uh, the flaws and he listened for a long time and i who was beginning to think that perhaps i should not have bothered to him after all sat there calmly aware of how innocent she was how sweet she looked and how the, and that her waist could do a wash okay now that is basically what she's saying right but now they're asking you what's the meaning and the effect okay so first of all if she's the the, the line that they're cho- choosing sat there calmly of how, aware of how innocent she was okay so this basically means that you know she the writer knows that her baby is not worried Ro- sorry the writer was, was you know feeling relaxed because she knew right about yeah. the baby right so that is going to be the very direct meaning that the writer was not worried or the writer was relaxed or the writer i know calm is already given there so the meaning could be relaxed or just serene and the writer was at peace okay and the effect so what is the effect this is causing so if someone is saying something related to calmness and peace and serenity the effect would that it will cause is going to be a sense of peace or yes. just generally a very peaceful scenario in your head right so that's the effect it's causing so when i say that you know sat there calmly aware of how innocent she was and i know that the writer is relaxed and calm then i know that yes it's okay this this uh, this particular meaning this particular phrase is trying to show us the effect of how peaceful and calm the situation was so it's giving us a conveying us a sense of peace or conveying us a sense of relief or relaxation does that make sense yes amazing and then it says as though there were they were rain drops on a window pane this is line 42 and 43 so if i go to the passage and i leave, read it over here it says i wept and octavia put her fingers in my uh, tears on my cheek as though they were rain drops on a window pane it seemed that in comparison with this moment the whole of my farmer life former life had been a some lovely afternoon now this from what i understand i mean she's crying right so it's obviously it's a very sad situation but if the meaning is basically when you know when someone says that you know i was crying as if there was rain drops that means that they were crying a lot right the tears was did they had tears in their eyes basically so that could mean anything like in the direct meaning could be there were a lot of tears flowing there were a lot of tears running down her face or she was crying continuously right make sense yes the effect it's causing so imagine someone's crying and say so they're con- crying continuously and there's tears on their face obviously it's giving a very sad effect it's giving a very depressing effect it's giving yeah. a very very uh very heartful heartfelt effect to the story so that's what you're going to write that it's going it's giving us a very strong sense of depression right okay. right so this is basically how you're going to answer meaning and effect your meaning part is going to be the direct meaning of the thing that you're mentioning whatever it is right and your effect part is what that particular phrase what effect that particular phrase is causing to the story make sense yeah makes sense so like now right now when you've done it so the only part where i see you're having a problem is you're in your own words and meaning and effect right so this is something that you will have to continuously focus on because your inferential question inferential questions are the ones where you pick out from the passage and you give the answer which is fine you are you're good at reading your passages you're good at extracting information from your passages but you are having issues with your in your own words so essentially that is something that we will do just like so at some point we right now we're just going to focus on in your own words questions so you know how to interpret them basically okay got it got it okay makes sense so you're done for today i will be sending you the checked part of uh, the last um paper that we did so yeah just keep a check on that however from next class we will be uh focusing on just doing in your own words questions uh okay got it and the same time for um next class as well right or will it be yes. different since the so it, it's going to be different because of the because my uni starts but i will let you know that by sunday Okay, that's perfect. when i get my syllabus and my schedule no worries okay perfect thank you okay. thank you so much bye bye bye